seen those little um oh the little craft co grind master drink coolers i don't know if you guys ever go to the taqueria and you get the ochata and the, the hibiscus drink i got a call for one up here not cooling so let's check it out and see if we can get into and see if we can go over this little unit with you guys put a little diagnostics on it, maybe even get it working again. Oh, Tippins. Come on there, Mr. Dirt Tippins. Let's get in there. All right, so the magnets are good. There's magnets under here that spin the motor, spin the magnets, pump the fluid. The plate up here gets cold. It's a refrigeration plate, and there's a condenser in here and a cap tube system. A couple switches, and there is a thermostat for this unit. Let's open it up. this end off and then we'll take this side plate off next but you got to take the two ends off before you can take the side plate off and I think I'll take this side plate off might have a dead thermostat I don't see the condenser fan running or the compressor running like with the side off you got the switch on the top is for the for the for the motors here those motors spin with the magnet on top of here I wish I could take it apart and show you but what it looks like is the toggle switch for the refrigeration failed watch oh I could almost get it right there and then it looks like the condenser fan motors roached and if I go all the way over at the switch it won't make switch is broached and then the condenser fan motor seems to be hooky oh yeah condenser fan motor is a goner let's see if I got a switch on the truck I gotta see if I got some type of a toggle switch on my van I got the toggle switch here, very generic toggle switch, and the Elko condenser fan motor. Let's get this taken apart and we'll get into it. When you get all the, the fronts and the sides off, you can see how this motor, you're going to take the two base plate bolts off, and the motor is going to come out on this side. The other side has the liquid line dryer, cap tube, and wires in the way for the condenser fan motor. And that thing's just not happy camper. Yeah, this side has all the traffic on it when you spin it over here. And then it's this bottom switch that failed. We'll get that out of there. She's a leaker, mama. She's a leaker. The switch just fell apart as I took it apart, as I took it out. Just a goner. Got the freshie, got the orientation right. I just got to get it in there, just push it in. All right, there's the new switch installed. Ah. 
Now let's work on this motor. Get the seven, seven sixteenths ratchet wrench. Go to town. You gotta get on the bottom to hold it and then get the nut off both sides and then the motor will come out. All right, to get the condenser fan bla blade, I mean motor out, you have to take the blade off. There's a retaining nut. Take that retaining nut off, get the fan blade out, and then you can get your motor out. You're not gonna move the compressor because it'll bottom out on the motor for a heads up, because I did try to do that. And that was a big uh, no-go. Put these back in before I forget. Now we can get this dude out of there, see? See if we can shine this little dude up. This guy's a little... Resomatic 5, get the hot water going. Scrub it. Alright, there she is all shined up. Ready for the starting lineup. The plug -o. It's like a little sweater on there, see? No. You, you need some service? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, it's going on social media. Four volts DC fan motors. And they were on back order for a long time. I remember that. Just a heads up.